Hi guys, I'm Vanessa Lambert, co-founder of Be The Wellness and Unveil Your Wellness. Welcome to this video. I help men and women discover and unveil their most authentic life and come into their highest potential through things like nutrition, exercise, lifestyle, and mindfulness practice. In this video, I'm going to discuss six tools that can help you discover your most authentic self so that you can start doing what you love and finding your passion. And I remember before I took the plunge and really started following my inner passion and truth. I was working for a company doing sales and it never really satisfied me. You know, I was making great money, but honestly, I was just unhappy with the career. And I noticed some of my other behaviors really started to reflect that I wasn't happy. And you know, I would shop compulsively. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love clothes. I think shopping and fashion is great and it's a great you know, form of self-expression, but the energy behind this was out of balance. It, was, it wasn't just for fun, it was like it was all I had to look forward to. And you know, as soon as the high from buying something wore off, I felt like I needed to buy something else. And I saw other behaviors too that I didn't love and I, I wasn't proud of. You know, I would binge drink and honestly, sometimes I would make a fool of myself and I really was, you know, just trying to cover up the fact that I was unhappy with what I was doing in my life. And finally, I had enough. I'd always had a dream of becoming a singer. I quit everything. I moved to Nashville. I started following my dreams. And, you know, it was terrifying and exhilarating all at the same time. But I'm so grateful that I made that leap. And, and now I've actually started manifesting and working on the life that makes me feel alive and fulfilled and so much gratitude for my everyday instead of dreading it like I did before. So, you know, it's been such a satisfying shift. I've started coaching and helping other folks change their life and start living more authentically through various coaching programs that we have. And, you know, so this is the, this is the first mistake that I want to talk about that people make. And that is that they dig themselves so deep into a life and a situation that does not work for them. You know, they take on house payments and they take on car payments and they don't have an option to change or pivot what they're doing if it makes them unhappy and they get stuck because they have so much overhead to deal with so the first thing I tell folks is be honest are you doing what you love are you exhibiting behaviors like I was that show something is out of whack you know spending too much money or drinking or engaging in other risky uh, other risky behaviors that could potentially be harmful. And there's a plane overhead, darn it. Um, these are warning signs, you know, that you're really not living your most authentic life. So number two, what lights you up? Once you have that sort of aha moment that you're ready to change, it's time to start taking notice. What makes you feel engaged, excited, or passionate? Where do you feel good? And not just temporarily good, but the deep down connection that tells you there's something here for you. And you know, it could be with working with animals or you know, writing or starting your own business, whatever it is, just start to take notice. And then three, simplify. Take stock of where your energy and resources are going. Start looking for ways that you can free up time and money and space for new activity and engagement. You know, this might require restricting some of your habits, like eating out too much or spending too much money going out, or, you know, you may even need to downsize your living situation. Where can you simplify to make more headroom, more space for your dreams to mature? And number four, which relates to number three, is check your ego. Is your ego holding you back from making a change? You know, are you embarrassed about downsizing your house or driving a less fancy car or not going out as much? Is, you know, is that holding you back from being able to create space for your real authentic self and dreams? And then number five, take action. Just do something. <laughs> Even making the wrong decision, decision is better than not doing anything at all. And just remember, nothing lasts forever. So if you feel like you made a change and it's not perfect, then you can make a different decision later. And sometimes it's important because we find out what we want by learning what we don't want. And lastly, just breathe. 
remember to have some kind of mindfulness practice or something that helps keep you grounded. You know, we offer binaural meditation in our program. I always like to offer these up to new friends. So please take advantage of, you know, the simple way to help you stay grounded. And especially during this phase of self-discovery, learning to meditate, learning to be mindful and stay calm is going to be an important tool to have in your toolbox. So remember, Every single one of us has our individual gifts and talents, and the key is to do what you love and to start working on your most authentic life, the life you really want to live, the life that gives you gratitude and you wake up every day excited to be living. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll take advantage of our free meditation. So many people have benefited from it, and I know you will too. I'm, ben I'm Vanessa Lambert. I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.